um, a couple of the concept design was Geo Cos Arts down in Rumble Street, possibly one of the oldest businesses in Toowoomba. It dates from the early 1900s and it's been in the same family ever since. Um, the contact person to speak with there was Jocelyn Mercer, who is a direct descendant of that first person who set the business up all those years ago. Um, I watched a video of Jocelyn a few times on the Act website and um, through doing that got very familiar with the story and even felt that I got to know Jocelyn a little bit as well. Um, so I set about to create a simple sensitive mosaic picture in response to the word picture provided by Jocelyn um, to portray her and Ben's escape through the chest high floodwaters into um, Schofield Street at the back of their business um, on the 10th of January 2011. So the focus that I wanted my design to be was on um, reaching safety together. Um, I chose colours that I thought would complement but at the same time stand out from the grey resin concrete wall where the mosaic is intended to go. Um, the browns and greys of the muddy waters being relieved by the mauves and blues of um, Jocelyn's dress and Ben's um, shirt and shorts. Uh, the lost handbag in swirling in the waters at Jocelyn's feet is significant um, as Jocelyn remarks on its loss in her interview and told me later that it had been returned to her afterwards. Um, the blue sky is symbolic of coming through the trauma and with a lot of hard work and help, refocusing and reopening the business and looking optimistically to the future. In terms of the, the capacity to translate this mosaic into design into a mosaic, um, I chose a naive style for its simplicity and clarity um, to avoid the essence of the story becoming lost in too much detail. And also I felt it would be more easily grasped and understood as it was glimpsed by people as they drive along Schofield Street, which is a well-used um, inner city bypass um, or shortcut. And that would work better if it was kept simple. Um, in terms of integrity interpretation of the idea and story, uh, what stood out for me about the story Jocelyn told was how she and Ben made their way together out of the flooded building in Schofield Street with Ben, a tall young man of 15, physically strong, helping Jocelyn. And that's why the hands here are significant that he has a good firm grip on Jocelyn's hand and his arm around her shoulders. And um, while the rest will be like a suggestion of their bodies underneath the water, so looking sort of like through the water from there down, that bit will be clear so you can see that, that physical um, yeah, so together they stand firm in the um, sort of swirling water. Um, also, when I met Jocelyn, I went to this a couple of times. The first time I met Jocelyn had had to go earlier than intended, so I missed her and spoke to her son and another gentleman who works there. And then I went back again the second time and, and got to talk with Jocelyn in person. And at that time, she gave me some tiles from discontinued stock from when Cos Arts used to have a lot of um, craft work as well as this other stuff. And I plan to incorporate these into the mosaic. I've got them in the bag, I forgot to bring them up. Um, amongst the water down here, too, I'll um, incorporate, or oh, we'll arrange some of these tiles into like horseshoe shapes in amongst the swirls. Um, as a reference to Cossart's long history as a supplier of salary to the district. Um, in terms of the scale of the sign, the, the mosaic of the design and appropriateness to the site, um, I thought it shouldn't be any smaller. I was given the measurements of half a metre wide, a metre high. Um, if it was any smaller, it would get lost on the wall. It's quite a large wall. There's nothing on it except a bit of graffiti at the moment. Um, also, on the, the day we had with Scott a couple of weeks ago, I had been on my first sort of rough painting, I had a 
few notes written down the side and I, I had the idea uh, sort of forming to if there was space to have an extra panel beside the picture mosaic um, to have a long narrow panel that would complement the picture part and just have snippets of what Jocelyn told of her story written across perhaps some plain greyish blue tiles written on with glaze and then killed by this. If it got to that stage I'd consult some potty friends of mine as to how to do that. Um, so just picking up words like 10th of Germany, lots of rain, big surprise, very cold, a lot of water, took a while, had to clean, lots of people, traumatic, start again and then just jump, don't worry, walk, walk across, um, only 15, great help, etc. So when someone you know, listens to the story there, they will hear the full story with those words oh, that these words come from. Um, as for feasibility, um, I envisage there that the entire design could be manufactured from standard materials so that the surface um, finish work would be smooth, cost could be kept down low, and um, also no embedded objects, so um, no danger of entrapment, um, and allowing you know, for the code and dying box, etc. that could be incorporated into that. Um, and lastly, it would be nice to see Skyfield Street made a little bit beautiful. Thank you.